The tragedy of the Love Canal has For been 31 years, 27 of them in Buffalo, Marie Rice held herself to the highest standards of journalism. Motivated by a noble goal. The idea that you could, you know, possibly um, be the voice of a person that didn't have a voice. I think it really basically comes, comes down to that. Would you please tell me, do I let my three-year-old stay? Marie would make sure the voices of beleaguered Love Canal residents were heard. I want to know if I'll be able to grow up to be a normal man. Day after day after day after day, not giving up and fighting City Hall. They were fighting to have the state relocate them. They were living on top of a toxic dump site, and Marie was drawn to their struggle. I remember going to different places and the bubbling up of the chemicals from the surface. Working with Marie for so many years, she's a reporter's reporter. When you sent Marie on an assignment, you knew that you were going to get the real deal back. For Marie and many women starting out in broadcasting in the 1960s, breaking through the glass ceiling was a struggle. Good afternoon, this is Misty, and this is the Saturday edition of The Lounge. Marie started her career hosting a jazz show on WYDD Radio in Pittsburgh. And that one's dedicated to all my honey buns, and that's all of you, all my listeners. There were only a handful of jazz disc jockeys that were women across the nation, and my stage name was Misty. Marie embraced the idealism of the 60s. Well, I want to see those white shoes you're wearing with it, Marie. They <laughs> have the courage to pan down. I want to uh, see that. High heel sneakers. High heel sneakers. Real you are too cool. You <laughs> are too cool. But she had learned something about sharing at a very early age. She was an identical twin to her sister, Joan. She has a little voice, same appearance, and um, and we both went into the same field. Now, when we were younger, when little kids, I was the more talkative of the two. I'm the older by two minutes, of course. She lets me know that now. When she was little, she wanted to be the older one. But anyway, um, so she went into the written because she was the quieter one. So she was a newspaper reporter. And then because I was the one that talked more, I went into the spoken. This is Marie Bryce reporting from State Supreme Court. We're waiting for a verdict in the Richard Long manslaughter trial. We'll be bringing that verdict to you live when it comes. And it was Buffalo's no-nonsense news scene where Marie would make her mark, including her coverage of the death of Richard Long and the trial of Buffalo police officers officers accused of beating him to death. The Richard Long manslaughter jury has reached a verdict. They have found three of the defendants guilty of criminally negligent homicide. It was a fascinating case, one that I will never forget. Marie covered popes and presidents, but loved connecting with the people of Buffalo and their issues. And she embraced her co-workers at Channel 4 as family. The newsroom, after all, was where we all lived. It brings back memories of all those reports you had to do and standing in front of the camera over here. Is it strange and, to see the camera again and knowing, you know? No, it's not at all. It just, it feels like home, Rich. But we didn't have a teleprompter when I was here. Really? We didn't have the teleprompter. We had to, we had to read our scripts or memorize them. So this is new. And uh, yeah, that's nice. That's a nice feature. You want to give it, how about a tag? Okay, what do you want Marie me to Rice. say? Marie Rice, do the Marie Rice News 4. Hold on. Let's, okay, so here which, we go. I'm going to count you down. I'm going to cue you. Stand by. Three, two. Marie Rice, News 4, at home again.